hoping against hope that what we thought might be true was not true and that the five individuals on board would be safely found and would be welcomed home into the bosom of their families unfortunately of course and tragically that was not to be and we continue to get more news and more facts about this story warnings over the safety of ocean gates titan submersible were repeatedly dismissed by the ceo of the company this is shown in email exchanges with a leading deep sea exploration specialist we'll have a little bit more on this from richard holmes senior reporter at the i newspaper hello richard thanks so much for joining us today hi vanessa thanks for having me tell me about this because this is breaking news which adds another layer of information to a story that is intrigued and fascinated and horrified in equal measure really yes and i think you know from the moment that we got a bit of closure about what had actually occurred um the inquest was going to immediately begin and i think that's what we can see happening obviously we had seen the um court cases from a couple of years ago where former employees had warned about safety of this vessel and you know the waiver that was apparently signed by by passengers on board saying it's experimental and you know they basically were risking death by going on it um it, it was a very unorthodox vessel um one of the first i think the first to be you know intertwined with carbon fiber as a hull which is you know an incredibly brittle material and experts i've been speaking to say that you know it's incredibly unique to have a vessel going to such depths of the ocean made out of that material and i, I think you know while it's too early to to properly tell i think you know we're seeing why that is yes and and so so tell me about these these emails because they pertain directly to health and safety that's what they were about Yes, so they are basically warnings about the very thing that we're seeing now, um, which um, apparently the CEO of OceanGate, the company who was take, taking a lot of money to run these trips to the Titanic, was um, was uh, the CEO of, of, of OceanGate. Sorry, was um, had, had apparently dismissed and ignored. Um, now these are, are very large claims, and, and you know, as people search for answers on on this tragedy, mm. um, you can see, you know, how things are already starting to map out, and and the finger is really being pointed in the direction of Ocean Gate and the CEO. It, it certainly is. I mean, the BBC has seen messages where Ocean Gate CEO, the late Stockton Rush, was told that he was potentially putting his clients at risk, and uh, the emails urged him to stop using the submersible until it had been classified by an independent body. And this is what Stockton Rush's response was. He replied, and I'm quoting here, he, he was tired of industry players who try to use a safety argument to stop innovation and it says here that tense exchange ended after ocean gates lawyers threatened legal action but the idea of a safety argument being dismissed in the light of so perilous and precarious and dangerous a trip really does seem to be extraordinary doesn't it Yes, um, you know, when you're heading to depths of, you know, 3,500 metres plus, that is an extreme amount of water pressure, um, you know, 350 odd times that of above, above the surface of sea level. Now, you need to make sure that you are, are you know, you can be innovative and, you know, put on these very um, exclusive tours of, you know, one of the great tragedies of, of our recent history but you need to make sure that you're following the guidelines and uh you know not putting people at risk which is certainly you know something that has clearly been warned about in the past um and you know as the days roll on now and as we have closure on this, this issue you can see that you know the inquest is fully underway and we will start really getting answers and let's just hope that this stays transparent and you know for the for the fat victims and the family of the victims that they can get serious answers about these what, what, what exactly happened okay you are a senior reporter at the i newspaper i'm sure you've seen as as all media outlets have including us here at talk tv the explosion of interest in this story it's been something that has just 
captivated people. They've been fascinated and horrified and involved and invested and are dreadfully, dreadfully upset now and so disappointed and so sorry on behalf of the people who've lost their lives and their families and everything else. And I wonder, as a journalist, what do you think is the reason for this complete I swear, outpouring of interest and an obsession with this story involving just five in five in most cases total strangers yeah well i mean the the, the obsession with the story is as it's as you will know has been controversial itself we obviously see a lot of deaths at sea um very close to home in this country um that ha don't get anywhere near this attention yes. um, and i think it's it's captivated people's attention because it is so um, it's such a unique um, story. You know, mm. You've got the Titanic, you've got these, these five very wealthy people heading on this voyage, and I think, I think a large part of it was the storyline of this oxygen running out, which, which, you know, had kept people interested in the daily press conference. It was an ongoing new, developing news cycle, and, you know, now we, we, we know that, you know, that wasn't um, totally true in the case and in fact from very early on there were a number of people who knew that it was most likely that this um, vessel had imploded. Um, I, I appreciate what you said one of the things you said of course was that there have been many deaths on small boats much closer to home and I wonder uh, how you feel about the sort of um, what could you call it the huge disparity in the interest and coverage of this story the submersible story and the story of all the different people who've lost their lives on small boats trying to get to this country yeah well I mean it's it's I, I can't really explain it I, I it's very interesting and I think it's you know every life is equal right and that's what we're taught to believe but the way the interest has been pinpointed towards five lives for so many days when we are facing a crisis of thousands of people um who are not wealthy individuals mm. let's remember remind ourselves of that they are running away from from strife in, in a, most examples yes um and they're, they're losing their lives you know at sea and they don't get one percent of this coverage um you know we've had a a whole media frenzy from all the Western media. Um, and look, I, I've contributed to that. I've been reporting on it myself. Mm. Um, and yeah, I, I think it's a really, you have to sometimes take a step back and look at our media and our interest and maybe take moments like this and, 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 and reflect on that and think about how we are, you know, approaching these issues and, and the attention we give to, to certain new stories for sure. Do you think part of it is this perennial fascination with Titanic? It does seem to be one of those passions, one of those <laughs> romances, one of those kind of symbols, one of those legends and myths that though true gets bigger and greater with every year that passes and somehow gets more and more captivating and enchanting and people just are enthralled to this particular story and if it is, why is it? Yeah, I mean, look, the fact that the, the Titanic is involved there is, is obviously a, a hook to this this whole issue and the attention that's focused on it. You know, when you have, you know, the, obviously the movie, which a lot of um, people now will, will associate with the Titanic rather than the actual <laughs> event itself. And you have, you know, the director, James Cameron, being fed seemingly classified information about this within the hour mm. um, and see how people's fascination with the Titanic and this issue um, gives it that real heightened level yeah. and the platform to get this attention for, sh for sure, yeah.